Andrew's Yard Style Cooking. So today I'll be preparing some delicious stew peas and I'll be using pig steel for my stew peas. Okay, these are the ingredients. So here I have two pounds of pig steel and this pig steel has been soaking from overnight. I went ahead, washed it, clean it up, remove all the fat, excess slime and all those stuff and then also what I did I boiled my pig steel for five minutes and this was to help reduce the salt intake because you know that pig steel already having a lot of salt which you don't need so remove the salt by soaking it and also boiling it for five minutes all right so that's it for the pig steel then also I have one and a half cup of red kidney beans this has been soaking too as well so I'm going to go ahead now and prepare that and also I'm going to use a few cloves of garlic. This is six, six cloves and I'll be using some pimento berries as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by boiling my peas. So I'm going to add the peas. If you guys choose, you can go ahead and pressure it, but I'm just going to cook it for, you know, maybe an hour and a half because since it has been soaking, it's not going to take a very long time. To prepare this is just the first part of our pig steel of the cooking of our stew peas sorry also i'll be adding my garlic and the pimentos as well okay so i'm going to bring this to a boil allow the peas to cook and the pig steel as well and then i'll come back and show you guys how we're looking so far then from there I will show you the other. Now this is how the stewed peas is looking. So the peas is nicely cooked as you can see. Also the pig steel. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead now and add my vegetables to it. And guys, I know everybody does their stew peas different. This is just my version of stew peas. So you can feel free to add whatever you choose to your stew peas. Alright, so these are the ingredients. I'm going to use two Irish potato. These are chopped as well as one large carrot chopped some thyme a scallion i'm not going to cut up my scallion i just crush it a little bit and i will be adding it one scotch bonnet pepper i'll be using my green seasoning as well as a little bit of seasoning up with ginger just a little bit some butter as well as my all-purpose season up. I remember this is all-purpose, so you know it can be added to anything. And as we all know, there's no stew peas without coconut milk. This is the key ingredient in your stew peas. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the vegetables first. And allow these, no, I should have put the pepper in as it. And allow these to cook for about three minutes. After these are cooked, then that's when I will be adding my coconut milk along with the butter i'm going in with one this is about one tablespoon of my green blend i will be adding some just a dash of all-purpose seasoning remember you don't season your pig steel like that like you don't add regular seasoning to your meat just a little bit okay sorry all right and then that's the ginger i'm adding so i'm going to allow these to cook until my vegetables are nice and tender as I said, three minutes, the last two minutes, I will be adding my coconut milk as well as the butter. As you can see, my stew peas is looking beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to allow this to cook. And guys, trust me, if only you were here to smell it, it smells so amazing. And I know it's going to taste delicious. Okay, so let's allow this to cook. Once the vegetables are soft and nice, then I come back and I'll add my coconut milk and my butter and then we'll finish up on our stew peas, okay? Alright. Okay, so now the vegetables are nicely done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going in now with about one tablespoon of butter. And as I always mention, you can, you don't have to add this part. If you don't want the butter, you don't have to add it, okay? Then I'm going in with the fun part of my stew peas, alright? My coconut milk. And trust me guys, the more coconut milk you add to your stew peas, the more delicious your stew peas is, alright? So, what I'm going to do, oh, also, one more thing. I'm adding my scotch bonnet pepper. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow this to cook for 5 to 10 minutes. Allow the coconut milk to boil and get the stew, allow the stew peas as well to get it and i don't like to add cornstarch or any of those stuff to take my gravy i just allow it to do that naturally but feel free to add your cornstarch 
cut as I said I'm going to give this five to ten minutes once that is done I'll come back and show you the finished product of my soupies okay and just look at it just look at it oh my gosh it just looks so delicious I can't wait to get some of this soupies is my favorite thing ever and it has to have been a lot off of it still all right but as I said Feel free to add whichever meat you choose to your soupies, okay? You don't have to follow the norm to add pig steel. You can add your pig steel with your beef or a pig steel with chicken food. Some people use, I know, chicken neck and those stuff, but I just like to add use soupies or salt beef whenever I'm doing my soupies. Alright, so let this cook down, then I'll come back and I'll show you how we're looking, okay? My soupies is finished and just take a look. Oh my gosh, this smells so good and it tastes so delicious. The coconut milk, everything just come perfectly together in the stupies. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead, dish this out and I will be showing it to you, okay? All right. Again, there you have it, my delicious stupies with pig steel. And as I mentioned that you can feel free to use whichever meat kind you choose in your stew peas or you can just go the atoll way with your stew peas alone okay so i hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did please remember to go ahead like share subscribe and also comment also as i always mention tell your friends to tell another friend and invite them to come on over to zendry's yard style cooking okay i know i have some great content feel free to share them with everyone all right, remember to take care of yourself, wash your hands, and stay indoors. All right, until I come your way again with something delicious from my kitchen to yours, take care, okay?